Hello everyone, as everyone is getting back into zombies, I thought it would be cool to document my progress towards getting the Dark Aether camo and telling everyone else some tips and tricks I picked up along the way. For the first episode of this series, I am covering the knife. At first glance, all the challenges look super easy, except the one thing holding you back is actually leveling up the weapon enough to even start the challenges. In fact, getting it to level 30 is harder than any of the actual camo challenges. I guess because of the cross progression between zombies and multiplayer, Trek decided to make it really hard to level up your weapons. It took me about 7 to 8 hours of exclusively using the knife and zombies to get it to level 30 to just unlock all the camo challenges. Now for the challenges themselves, the first camo class you can unlock at weapon level 0 is the grunge camo class. The grunge camo class requires you get 750 zombie kills. This should come naturally as you begin to level up your knife and do the other challenges. The next camo class you can unlock at weapon level 5 is liquid and it requires you get 50 kills on zombies that are disoriented by a stun grenade, decoy grenade, or a monkey bomb. Now before the recent patch, the easiest method would have been to use a decoy grenade and you would lob it in an area where zombies can't reach and it will distract the zombies for over 30 seconds which is even better than the monkey bombs. This meant that this challenge could have been completed with pretty much only two decoy grenades. However, as of the recent patch, Treyarch fixed this and now it only lasts for 5 seconds flat. In my experience, I found that using stun grenades produced the best results. Monkey bombs are very expensive as they cost a thousand scrap each and you can only hold on to two at a single time. On the other hand, decoy grenades have a small time window to kill while distracted. The most cost effective way I found was to just spam stun grenades as they are fairly cheap and you can kill at least 4 to 5 zombies before throwing your next stun. Overall this challenge was really easy and I just trained in the spawn room and bought stun grenades as I passed the crafting station. Next is the brush stroke camo class which is unlocked at weapon level 10. All you need to do is get 750 kills with the knife pack a punch. This is really straightforward and it is really easy to do as the extra essence you get with the knife kills meant that it is super easy to get your knife pack a punched early. When I was going for this challenge, simply by knifing only, I was able to get my knife pack a punched by round 6 or 7. After the brushstroke camo class is the vintage camo class, which is unlocked at weapon level 15. The challenge requires you get 15 kills with the knife against zombies affected by frost blast, ring of fire, or while using aether shroud. Listen, all you need to do is use aether shroud and kill zombies while you're invisible. To kill zombies faster, I found that having any other weapon in your hand and having your knife as the secondary speeds up the animation to kill zombies and you won't stick to the zombies often compared to having the knife out. The next camo class is Fauna, which is unlocked at weapon level 20. This challenge requires you get 10 elite kills with the knife. This was probably the hardest challenge to do, but there are ways to make your life easier when trying to complete this challenge. First off, it does not matter how you damage or kill the Megaton boss. The only thing that matters is the final hit on the last remaining Megaton bomber. Basically, you can kill the Megaton and one of the Megaton bombers with any weapon you want. Then for the last Megaton bomber, you can get it low with any weapon you want, but the finishing move has to be with a knife. This will count as a single elite kill with a knife. It doesn't matter if you kill the Megaton and both of the Megaton bombers with only your knife as it still only counts as one elite kill. So it is easier to kill the Megaton and one Megaton bomber with another weapon then get the finishing blow on the last Megaton bomber with your knife. I recommend getting the electric or fire die upgrade to burst down the Megaton easily but you can of course do it with any other weapon of your choice. Once you reach weapon level 25, you can unlock the challenges for the topography camo class. This challenge requires you get 10 kills rapidly for a total of 10 times with the knife. On paper, it kind of sounds hard, but when you're actually doing it, it is actually really easy. The timing is very forgiving, so all you have to do is run around getting kills with the knife. Finally, the last set of challenges before getting gold is the infection camo class which is unlocked at weapon level 30. The challenge requires you get 20 more consecutive kills with knife without getting hit 10 times. Honestly, I thought this challenge was going to be really rough and annoying, but it can be really easy. I highly recommend just starting up a fresh new game, starting at round 1, and exfil at round 10 and repeat as necessary. The zombies are slow and they aren't clumped up together in the early rounds, so it is easy to avoid being hit. 
If the zombies are a little bit faster and they start to clump up, just run around the map to cause them to despawn and respawn at new locations to separate them. Just keep in mind that knifing the zombies without being hit is easy to do when it's just one zombie by itself. Don't get too greedy and try to knife the zombies when they're together as it is very easy for the knife to get magnetized towards the zombie you're stabbing which might cause the zombies nearby you to hit you easily. You can try to attempt this challenge as the rounds get higher, but it will be a lot harder to keep the streak as zombies will get faster. Overall, getting the knife to gold was fairly simple. Most of the challenges should come naturally as you play the game. Honestly, the hardest part about getting the knife gold was getting it to level 30. Anyways, hopefully you got some useful tips and tricks towards getting the knife to gold. The next weapon will be the M79 or the China Lake and listen. <laughs> It's probably gonna take a while for the next video in this series, but it'll be worth it for that sick Dark Aether camo. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.